Hello and welcome back to another Venture in Off Limits video. Now, from the surroundings behind me, you might not think I'm really anywhere. Um, we're actually on the former Great Central Railway track bed. Um, behind me, in that direction, was base for station. Um, and in the direction we're heading was Sherwood Rise Tunnel. Behind me there. We're going to head down the side of that van. Um, I say we because we're here with the pooch. Obviously we won't be entering no tunnel with him. He'll be going home before we go in. Um, but we're just going to go check out the portal, see what we see. And yeah, we're going to continue our walk and I'll meet you up there. So here we are in the cutting for the Sherwood Rise Tunnel. Um, this tunnel was 665 yards long and it was 120 feet from road level to the row level which you can pretty much believe when you look at that, that, that banking like that's road up there I mean it might look smaller on video but yeah um, almost there now gonna oops it's getting slippy isn't it mate going to continue up this cutting and see behind me look well, stop pulling the phone then there <laughs> get my finger in the right position there in them bushes we'll find the portal so let's go take a look we are at Sherwood Rise Tunnel <clears throat> now what I was saying about 120 foot if you just look at that banking that is ground up there. Like, look how high that is. Um, this tunnel opened in 1898. In that direction down there is Baseford Station. And behind me here is the Sherwood Rise Tunnel Portal. Closed in 1968. Um, as you can see, it's pretty buried. Buried to within probably, what, six feet of the tunnel portal? Um, now, we will be getting in there today, and it's not from this end. We're going to take him home, and I'll meet you inside the tunnel, because what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the tunnel, take our pictures, take our photographs, etc., and then... We're going to walk back through the tunnel and film. So, you've seen the portal now, and I'll see you inside. So we got in, we've walked through the tunnel, taking our pictures, etc, etc. We just climbed up the infill, and we are now at the Sherwood end of the tunnel. Um, we're going to film on the way back through. Um, can you see this behind, behind me? Look. Just climb up a massive infill. There's a tunnel roof there. Um, yeah. Got to head back down this infill and I'll take you for a walk through the tunnel. So we're down that infill and we've dropped down to track level. You can see it's carved through the yellow sandstone. That is the tunnel straight ahead. First refuge over there. This one's carved out in the sandstone. Some of them are fully brick. And you've got the brick arch at the top on pretty much all of them. Let's head down and see what we find in here. Right, so we're walking up the tunnel and the first thing we've just found, we've got this Trevor Animal Shapes packet. Half a pound, don't buy that anymore, do you? It's grams. But look at the date on here. If that focuses, 1987. So we're uh, not far from where we just was. You've got these 
wooden plank things. I assume cable carrying, well, to hold the trough for the cables that were carried through. Running pretty much all the way down. Look over here, we've got the first brick section. So most of it is carved through this yellow sandstone here, but you do have patches that are fully brick. Why would that be? Weak spot maybe? Just covered in soot. Um, yeah, back to the yellow sandstone there. And across from that, we have, can you see that on here? We have the first refuge, but it's bigger than normal. We think it's a plate layer hut where people would have come in here, sat down, had the dinner, you know, like whilst working on the track. The planks to carry the trough to carry the cables continue round. Um, normally you can just fit in these things, look. It's actually quite big. There is a couple of these. We'll show you the other one when we get to it. Let's carry on this way. So just coming up in front of us now, when I get my torch on, there we go, is the first refuge along the way that is fully brick. The others have all been carved out of sandstone with a brick arch. Still goes up, brick roof light. But yeah, there's your first all brick one. So look what we have here. We've got a can of tango. Now I don't think I'll be able to show you. The camera ain't gonna pick it up. But on the bottom of that can it's got 1997. You can just see the 97. Look at the top. Our ring poles ain't like that anymore, are they? <laughs> Quite amazing to see actually. The walls are just thick with soot. That's your big first one. Big first refuge again. Right, let's continue on. So the next thing we've just come across is this old king size Mars bar wrapper look. And to say the last access we know of in this tunnel was 1994. This is still in. You could wash it and reuse it if you wanted. 27 years this has got off and down here at least. Can you see the date? 27th of the 12th, 86 that says. It's so bad at focusing. But yeah, it's quite amazing how it's not even deteriorated. I can't say that word. So yeah, here's one of your brackets that would have been in the wall. It's even got some of the cable still attached to it and now it's on the floor. Let's pick it up. Put it back up there a lot. Still can see some of the cable attached to it. This part of the tunnel, I'm going to have to get you my bigger torch. But you've got your obviously... Uh, sandstone but you've got a big long brick section running across the top of the wall on this part as well probably the top third of the wall is brick on that part and over this side these would have been troughs for carrying the cables wouldn't they yeah you've got troughs that they're all along the floor look still seem to be there pretty much well, they would have probably have ran across these and we've got some cable down here look just falls apart when you pick it up continue just a few more steps and what I just shown you that bracket there's one up there look 
it's still in the wall. You can see its cables coming out of it. Now the cable in on the floor. Oh, I throw at the point, this point, I may as well tell you that the tunnel's 665 yards long. Um, as I said earlier, we believe it hasn't been accessed since 1994 because that's the last date that any pictures have been posted online. Um, so yeah, we think we're the first people in in 27 years. I mean, if you've been in before or since, feel free to comment and let me know. It'd be quite interesting. I think it is. Yeah. Clean it off a bit that. Old track bolt there. I don't know what that is. Continuing down the tunnel, you've now come across different style well, I think they're cable carrying hooks, but I mean I don't know. All still attached to the walls though. It's like a double, double um, refuge as well. See, it's got an arch there. An arch up there as well. What would that be about? Another one there. Your, your cable bracket up there. And they continue quite a considerable way down. Obviously, they would have gone all the way through, but, I mean, they're still attached quite a considerable way down. I'll watch where I'm walking. Another bracket with a cable. And they're coming off and down through its hook. That one there. That one don't go through its hook though, does it? Uh, they seem to have stopped now. You're back to just these wooden ones. And we've got another bracket there. If I can get you closer up. You see that? Having to stretch, disadvantages of being short, hey? Currently we're still at sandstone, full stand sandstone. You know, for example, full sandstone, brick arch. As we've seen before. Um, oh yeah, you've got a little brick section up there, look. Running across. And that's the end of that, back to the sandstone. Well, can you see how thick this soot is? No. Like crumbly sandstone. But it's just thick. We saw it. Another refuge there. So yeah, you can see the roof is all brick on the roof. Um, also covered in soot, but the brick, the roof's like that the whole way along this tunnel. We found this up. Another old can. Get that out your faces. This one's Fanta, Tango, Tango even. Look, lemon and lime. Do they even make lemon and lime tango anymore? Can't see a date on there, unfortunately. Definitely not. Oh, look. Pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, I slipped over going back. I don't really know where the roots came from. The whole there, look. Randomly. Where are they coming from? Oh, there you go. First puddle of the tunnel. That's how dry it's been. The roof up there is a little bit wet. Can you see? What do you want? The other torch? The other torch then? Yeah. First patch of wetness we've found in this tunnel. It's 
not even that wet really. Just a few drips. Big hole there. Oh, behind us, look. We've got the second one of them big refuges. Plate layer huts, as I said earlier. Carved through sandstone again. Why is the holes on over the tunnel, look? Just like dug down. Yeah, no. Probably animals in it. Brick across the top. Sitting on top of that sandstone. Got more of them troughs, look. I mean, if you can see that on camera, I don't know. It makes quite a cool effect the way they're all stood up against their wooden beams that they would have once been on. That one's still in its position. So are all of these are. Oh, look what we've come to on the end of here. So I've seen this on the way up and I've been looking for it. So I knew it was due. Cherry Coke. Again, you can't see the date on this one. Really rusted. It's even that. In that red jar, you can see that the metal's just broke away. Now, unlike the lemon and lime fan toy thing earlier, I know they still do cherry coke, but it ain't that style anymore, is it? To think, like, 27 years, it's not in that bad a condition. Now, that last load of stuff i just shown you, I don't think was railway because that's a track bolt. I think it's similar though, similar girth and everything, but the other stuff had washers on it and I've never seen one with a washer on before. We've got a few there though, not. And over here, we've got this, which is a signal bracket. Now, some guy said online that in 1994, that was on the wall, complete with its signal arm. There's no sign of a signal arm now. Where it really came from, is there? I mean, maybe it weren't even on this part of the wall. Maybe it was further down, I don't know. But, yeah. You your signal bracket. the marks in this bit where they'd have been picking at it to dig it out it's pretty cool we're just approaching the end now and this is the first bit of colour other than obviously the yellow sandstone that you've seen throughout the tunnel slightly wetter down this end I mean it's not pouring in like we've seen previously and it's nor is it as muddy as Gilderson was in the previous video but I mean Still a nice tunnel. Can you see the colour over there? Nope, because I ain't got the torch bright enough. There you go. Now, is this all brick now? Yeah. So we've come to the end of the sand, like the end of the tunnel, and the sandstone ends. If I turn that off, can you see? No. You know that plank going through the roof. Yeah, sandstone ends, drops down to this little part, and then completely ends there. And it turns to just brick. Plus it's wet at this side. So now you've got some colour look. That's the end of it there. That's calcite in it coming out of the bricks. You meant to say yeah or no. Yes, <laughs> Same with that side. So. <laughs> you meant to do it less sarcastically. <laughs> Is that anything? No. Yes, I Now, that's probably the second all brick refuge we've seen. 
I mean, it's lovely cut through the sandstone, but there ain't no colour, is there? I mean, my tunnel's getting hot, so we've got to turn it off, but... The tunnels are all about the colour, right? So, you get to this at the end of the tunnel, breeze block wall thing, and you've got this little hatch. Okay. What? 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 Because <laughs> obviously when it was bricked up, they left this little hatch here for access still. So if we climb up these little stairs that are conveniently placed. So this is actually the actual end of the tunnel. Um, can you grab my hat? It's about to fall off my shoulder. So before they actually buried it fully, I guess they just bricked it up, as we can see. Thank you. Here, I'm in the little hatch shot. And left this hatch, I assume, for access. Um, you don't often see a ladder leading up to a manhole at the end of the tunnel though, do you? No. <laughs> well, there we are. Came through there. And this is where the journey started, if you like. Got some more colour, let's get the other torch out. More colour up there, not the yellow. I mean, it's quite a lot of rubbish, if you like, underfoot. Um, yeah, I believe this tunnel closed in 1968. And I assume they bricked up that put the access hatch so they could still inspect it. And then when they decided they were fully burying it and building whatever it is out there they built on top. Is it Victoria Centre or something? I don't know, no, that's the other tunnel. But yeah, they put the wall up, lift your access to the manhole, and that was it. I mean, Better if they hadn't have buried it completely. Part of the portal there. I assume some design off the portal. Up we go then. With multiple things in your hands, don't do this at home. <laughs> I've been <to> the <laughs> Listen, can you hear this? <laughs> do you reckon you'll serve me down here? <laughs> Shut up, can I have a 99 please, mate? <laughs> oh. Okay, we're up. <laughs> it's hot on top of us. It sounds close. <laughs> Do you know the egg jump out here? Hello? We're down here. Can you hear that on camera? People ordering their ice creams. Good looking stuff on my head. <laughs> Can you get me one while you're there? I'll have a bubble gum. It's the um I don't really know. He's dropping stuff on my head. Yeah. What? Oh, it's a food van. Food van? Yeah. Oh, my ice cream van. Where is it? Dead close. Yeah, it's just parked down on the road. <gasps> All these people are getting away. So this is pretty much all you can see of the tunnel portal. Closer to the edge. There you go. That is like all you can see of it. We should come. Just a moment. We should come up that ladder there, look. We're in the first part. Bricked up wall. You can see we're above that. We've still got the van up there, so we're gonna head up there. And out. 
So yeah, that's pretty much how I drive tunnel. Um, it's not the best video because I'm terrible at it, but you know, it's something. So that is Sherwood Rise Tunnel. Um, there'll be more history and a write up for it um, pinned at the top bottom, bottom of this video. Um, we're gonna head out now. And yeah, thanks to the company. <laughs>